here to the job of the day. We're back here at the same job from yesterday where we were dealing with the bamboo. We have that one tree in the center that we still need to remove. Plus we have a bunch of stump grinding to do in front of the house, plus in the back. We have our chip truck all ready to go, chippers all ready to go. We were actually here yesterday and we destroyed our blades on the chipper, completely destroyed them. So we had to replace them this morning. Cleaned up this whole area here, left it nice and clean. Still got a little bit of cleanup. We're gonna be stump grinding this whole area here, leaving it nice and clean. Stump grinding this whole area here as well. Then we have a bunch of little stumps here that we have to stump grind. All these little stumps here right next to the driveway are gonna get stump grinded. That's gonna be a little bit of a pain because you have the driveway right next to it. You can see Berardo's here on the mini. They already started stump grinding that area there. I'm gonna set up the camera down there on time lapse so we could get them getting all that area stump grinded. So we brought the bucket in, but I was getting ready so we could start on this tree here. Roy's already got about halfway through the bamboo. It's pretty good progress. We still have to flatten this all out, leave it nice and clean. Bring in the branches through here. I'm gonna back up the chipper right up to here, and here's where we're gonna chip up.
We still got a good amount of cleanup here to do. All that's left on this tree here. This is this last trunk here that we have to drop. I have to pick this one up. I'm gonna start loading up the truck as well. And then after we're done with this area here, Roy will continue with the stump grinding around the house. And once we're done here, we're gonna move on to this tree here. Our plan is to move the bucket truck a little bit closer. So hopefully Berardo could grab it from this side. We're gonna toss all the branches onto the grass and then drag them out on that right side of that house there. Drag them out and then chip them on the front of the house. We're only gonna be chipping up the branches. We're leaving all the logs on that side there. We're just dragging out the smaller branches. We're gonna try to remove this fence here so we don't have to go all the way around and we could just drag these branches right up to the chipper. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> the, the human crane. We're gonna take this fence off as well in case we need some more room. done with this tree here Johnny's on the mini getting rid of the logs we got the fence all moved over we're gonna get started on this tree here Almost done with this one tree here. All that's left is this final limb. We still have a lot of cleanup to do. Plus we have a lot of stumps around the house that we still need to get done. And we have to load up all these logs. This shouldn't be an issue. Plus those logs there are staying there. So that'll be pretty easy. But we still have a good amount of work left. We're gonna try to knock this all out by today. So we don't gotta be back here tomorrow. We still have a good amount of branches in this area here to pick up. You can see over there, that's where I'm stacking all the wood. 
these branches shouldn't be an issue we're gonna start pulling them over so we could chip them up bigger stuff all that's left are these little branches shouldn't be an issue there comes Roy with the blower so we could blow this all on that side we're gonna try to get that bucket out of there move the chipper because we also got to cut that stump there lower so we could grind that stump and continue with the grinding around the house also in the front this stump here is staying we're gonna drop this thing here we have this log here ready for it we're gonna stack up all the wood there hopefully the customer doesn't want us to cut them all into smaller pieces from what from what we understand he just said to leave the wood so we don't know if we have to cut them down into small firewood pieces so once we're done i'm gonna stack them up there leave it nice and clean and see what he says if he wants us to stack it and uh cut it down into smaller pieces and stack it then obviously we will but we want to avoid doing that since i already have them nice and stacked there it will be a pain in the butt just to get that off of there to so we could cut them I already cleaned up most of this area here. We still have a lot of little branches that we have to clean up. All this stuff I have to spread and see what we could grab out of here. None of this stuff could go in the chipper. Like I said yesterday, we completely destroyed the blades of that chipper. So we're not gonna stick anything. None of this is gonna go in the chipper. So we have to figure out what to do with it. Like I said, we have to stump grind that stump, remove that bucket. And we also have all these logs here that we have to load up. So once Joni finishes there with this little bit of branches, I'm gonna move the chipper forward, take it to the street, get the bucket out of here just so we have more room to work. And then I'm gonna start loading up the truck with all this wood. Hopefully it all fits in there. If not, I'm gonna have to go dump the wood chip truck and I'll come back with it clean so we can fill up, so we can finish filling it up with the logs. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. Cleaned up a lot of this bamboo area. You should definitely, if you haven't, check out that last video where we started this whole bamboo area, just so you have kind of an idea of what was going on. But this whole area here was just bamboos we filled up two chip trucks full of bamboo we had to dump it back at the shop since that bamboo would honestly grow anywhere if we were to take it to the normal dumping spot it probably wouldn't even allow us to dump again so we took it to the shop and got rid of it we brought the tractor with us with the attachment so hopefully we could flan this out leave it nice and clean <laughs> All right, let me back this bucket out of here. You can see this left side here is a little bit lower, so let's hope we could just pull it right out and not really have an issue for it. I'm gonna back up the International so I can start loading up all the logs and all that garbage right into here. Start knocking everything out. So we go head back to the shop, call it a day.
glove while I was out grabbing my helmet. And the guys threw down that last trunk that was up. I wasn't able to film it. I was out grabbing my helmet. The guys just dropped this one here. make a table out of that stump there well we're all set here stacked up all the wood we cleaned up this area nice the customer was happy he told us to leave the stump like that we just flying it down on top on top so uh so you can use it for like whatever placing anything on top of there a table he said it was for him to place a couple beers so when he has to start splitting this wood here we're gonna continue here with this here still got a lot of cleanup I brought the truck over so what i'm gonna do instead of chipping all this stuff up i'm gonna start picking it up with the mini start flying out this whole area and putting it right into the truck like that i don't want to risk putting any of this into the chipper and damaging the blades like yesterday uh -huh. ran away but Roy always giving it the final touches leaving it nice and clean probably just passed the rake a little bit we also got to put this fence back up but that shouldn't be an issue put that fence back up start cleaning this whole area up we also got to cut this stump down pretty sure we have to stump grind that whole area there but uh start cleaning everything up so we can call it a day it's getting already pretty late we only have about maybe two more hours until we have to head back so we're going to try to basically knock this whole area out before we have to head back to the shop.
we finished loading up all the wood the guys were just trimming the stump a little bit lower so we could stump grind it we got all these stumps knocked out here got the stumps around the house here knocked out i'm just trying to clean it the best i can still have a lot of cleanup not sure if we'll be done today got to clean up all this area here i already started clearing it up we stump grind in all these areas here still have to clean it up leave it nice we couldn't really make it much farther so i think we're gonna pass maybe a weed whacker here to clean this up and then start from here coming from this area here we gotta knock out this stump here plus all these little stumps basically what we did back there then clean it up flatten it out we have one stump there that we have one stump there that we have to knock out and then we have to knock out all these little stumps here basically the same as that area there and then we also have all these little stumps here that are right next to the driveway these are going to be a pain just because we don't want to touch any of the driveway they're pretty small so shouldn't be hard though and then we also have these right here right next to the house we're gonna have to see i don't even know if we could do this one there's a wire right next to it but we'll see we might just cut it low and leave it like that but we have all of these here and that should be it other than a bunch of cleanup i don't know if we'll be done today but we'll definitely try <laughs> Yeah. guess the customer wanted that piece of wood had Joni cut it now Roy's got to stump grind this stump we only have about an hour here left so we're gonna try to knock out what we can I think I'm gonna set up the camera here and just time lapse Roy getting this while uh, while I start clearing everything up cleaned up this stump here now we're gonna bring the tractor in so we can pass it here it's already getting late so we don't have much time we're gonna head home soon we cleaned up all this grass area the best we can we have a couple small piles that we need to clean up stump grinded this whole area here all the way around what he's passing right now is a pre-seeder it isn't really meant for this it's meant for before you put seed on a field or anything like that you pass that machine just so it leaves little rivets but we usually pass it on stuff like this just so we can flan the area out. You can see it's kind of turning all the, all the dirt over. All right, I'm gonna set you guys up on the time lapse. We got this area basically cleaned up. We just have a couple more passes with the tractor. All we have left for today is to put these panels back on. Once we set these panels up, we'll get the trucks all ready to go. We're gonna head back to the shop, call it a day. Está rimando, eh. Ahí, 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 ah
I gotta figure out how to get on the other side of this fence here but we're all done i gotta go see if the guys have the trucks all ready to go and we're gonna head back to the shop and call it a day <sighs> man what a day all done here the difference is honestly crazy we finished everything we needed to get done cleaned this whole patio up just to leave it nice and clean we did all these stumps here there were a couple pine trees that we knocked out yesterday did all these stumps here cleaned it up the best as possible did all these stumps up to here did the stumps in the front as well i'll show those in a sec this was the big part of the job this whole area here was covered in bamboo going all around this garage here you couldn't even see this wall of this garage here cleaned this whole area up it's crazy how much bamboo was in this area we flanned it all out left it nice and clean We knocked out this one big tree that was right here that split into three. That was a pretty big tree. We couldn't even see that tree when we got here. All the bamboo was covering it. We knocked out the one big tree in the back here, put the fence back up, left it nice. Cleaned this whole area up nice and clean. See this whole area here from over here where it starts, where you can see that dirt all the way around here was bamboo that's been growing here for who knows how many years cleared it all up left it nice and clean you couldn't even see any of that area there they probably haven't even seen this fence in who knows how many how many years clean this fence line up here left it nice and clean the guys are just getting the trucks ready to go cleaned up all the grass left it as clean as possible cleaned up this driveway we knocked out all the stumps that were along this driveway here knocked out these stumps that were along this side here as well cleaned up the driveway left it nice and clean we knocked out these stumps that were here we cleaned it up the best we can all that driveway is nice and clean the sidewalk here is nice and clean as well knocked out this one stump here this one wasn't too difficult we cleaned it up left it nice and clean we also edged all these planters here left them nice and clean edged up these planters here left them nice did all the stumps on this area here left it nice and clean as well i think our chip truck and the one with the trailer is all gone you could just see the difference of the house completely changed it up i think they just bought this house but completely transformed it but now we're just gonna head back to the shop and call it a day the new mud flaps looking good i actually grabbed them for I grabbed a pair for each truck, so all the trucks are looking nice now with all the mud flaps, but we're all ready to go. We're gonna head back to the shop, call it a day. Just made it back here to the shop, so it was a difficult day. It's also a long day, but we got everything done. I just wanna thank anybody who took their time out of the day to watch the video. Any questions, any comments, any tips for me, leave them down below. Catch you guys tomorrow.